Standish aren't the only ones who've been waiting to see what happens to the detainees there at Guantanamo Bay. Also paying very close attention, families who lost loved ones in the attacks of 9-11. A growing number of them are now saying that they're a bit angry that for all of its talk of transparency, the U.S. administration has kept them in the dark on its Gitmo decisions, including what is to happen to five 9-11 suspects housed there now. Our Catherine Harridge talked to one of those family members. She's streaming live tonight from Guantanamo Bay. Here at Guantanamo Bay, she traveled all the way here to the Navy base so she, so she could sit in the courtroom and look Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in the eye, the man she says murdered her son. Novotny told me recently that she never thought she'd see the day to become a protester. I think he'd be proud that I'm stepping up to the plate. 72 year old Mary Novotny, a retired school nurse, is a 9 11 mother turned activist. I've never been on television. But uh, it's a very, very close to my heart. Novotny's son Brian worked in the World Trade Center on the 104th floor of the North Tower. It's eight years. We need to have the trials and we need to have a conviction on 9 11. President Barack Obama. In May, Novotny says America she wrote to the White House, my attaching a picture of her son. I never got a response to my letter. I don't know if he even saw it. The five 9-11 suspects, including alleged architect Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, are waiting in their prison cells at Guantanamo Bay. Novotny went to Gitmo in September as a tribute to her son. I promised Brian I would be in the courtroom for these trials. Asked why such an important story is flying under the radar, Novotny says that may be what the administration prefers. Yes, definitely I believe that, I, that that's they, they want to avoid a controversy. A Justice Department spokesman insisted every effort is being made to include the victims' families and others. Quote, the task forces welcome this input, capturing a wide variety of views on issues related to detention policy in Guantanamo Bay will only help the task forces make more informed decisions and recommendations. The administration has promised a decision ship by November 16th on 9-11 conspirators, and some of the 9-11 families say they're still concerned that their voices are not being heard. And once that decision is made, in their words, it will be a done deal, Shep. Catherine Harridge live in Cuba at Guantanamo Bay tonight. Well, as the U